All right, guys, I told you that uh, we'd shoot a really quick video, and I'm just going to walk through refactoring the contacts controller. Uh, the reason I decided to do this, you may or may not have this, but I decided to do it just for completion's sake, and I do want to make sure um, that we are that we don't have any bugs, so this will give me another chance to check for bugs. Um, so I'm just going to close everything except for the contacts controller, and then we'll open up the contacts model should just be these two uh, deals that we need to we need to look at um, I might also open up the form yeah we'll need to update the form errors so these three files um, let's go ahead and dive right in so let's look at the contacts model first and it looks like um, the only validation that we have for this is first and last name we have it required and a maximum so that's going to be easy. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and do public function uh, validator. And then we're going to say this run validation. And this will be a new max validator. We'll pass in this and then uh, it will be the field will be uh, F name and the message will be first name is first name must be less than one hundred. And 55, we'll say less than 156 characters. And then uh, the rule. Oh, I can't even spell rule today. So the rule that we pass into this is 155. All right, so we'll copy and paste that. And then we'll just change it. F name to L name and change first to last in the message. Alright, so that's it for the max validation. Um, we need to make both of these required. So we can just say this run validation and that will be new required validator this the field will be f name message will be uh, first name is required all right and then I'm just going to copy this Paste it here and change F name to L name and change first in the message to last. All right, and then we can get rid of this public static ad validation there. So that will be our validator. All right, let's go back to contacts controller now and um, what we want to do is get rid of this validation here. We want to change this check to be the this request is post. And then we're going to assign not the post, but this request get. Uh, we don't need to run this validation check here. We don't need to have this validation passed here. Get rid of that if statement. Um, and instead of this, we're going to say if contact save function 
then we're going to redirect. Okay. Uh, the other thing that needs to change is display errors. This is going to be contact, and that will be get uh, ballot. No, not that. Get error messages. Let me double check that. So let's look in the model. So core model. We're looking for get yeah get error messages. That's correct. All right. So the get error messages are there. The rest of that's fine. Um, so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and look at the form here and the form errors um, let's go ahead and get rid of that and this will be equal to FH um, display errors and we're going to pass this display errors into that and uh, we need to do the cross-site request forgery check too. So back in contacts controller, after the is post, um, we need to do this request cross-site request forgery check. All right, so that's the add action that's completely done now. Uh, let's go ahead and clean up the edit action. Um, it's going to be a lot of this similar stuff here. We'll get rid of the validation, new validate. This is going to be this request is post. We're going to assign this request get and then skip the validation check skip this if statement get rid of that if statement and then we're going to wrap this in an if statement here so if contact save Then we're going to do the router redirect. All right, else uh, we need to change this to contact get error messages. And then we need to add our cross site request forgery check. So this request CSRF check. All right, I think that's it. Let's go ahead now and check this. So let me log in. All right, contacts by contacts. Add a contact, so I'm going to add Curtis RM123 uh, Main Street Suite 101. I'm going to fill all this in just to make sure it all works. Washington, Missouri, 63090. RM Curtis at Mailinator 555 
just change these slightly. We'll hit save. All right, so that worked. Let's go back to edit. Uh, I'm going to change this number to one. One, two, three. Uh, that worked. Um, delete should still work. We didn't change anything there. Um, let's just go and add a new contact. Check validation. Name, first name is required, last name is required. So I think that's all good. So that's our um, refactor of the edit and the add action. Just want to look at the delete, make sure that's good. Looks good. Details looks good. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, so the guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, validation uh, uh, update and now I think it's more uh, in line with object oriented programming and it should be extensible by you. You can extend it with your custom validators and I like the way that we've uh, added to our input uh, our input class and we're using that now as this request inside of our controllers. That's more in line with other uh, frameworks. So I hope that helps guys and I don't know what the next video will be. I think what I want to do is I don't, this is going to be kind of a pain, but it shouldn't be as bad as the validation stuff, but I don't much like how the autoloader works. So I think we're going to change and use a PSR4 uh, autoloading type thing. So um, we'll refactor that as we get to it. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, keep coding, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series.